Welcome, friends. Each one of us have many aspirations and we have aims in life. We have set some goals, hopefully, for our life to have maybe successful careers, to become a good human being, to contribute to our social progress, or taking responsibility of our ailing parents. But before setting our goals, uh, but before setting out to fulfill these wonderful aspirations, have you thought of knowing yourself who should actually achieve these aims? Maybe some of you have made efforts to know yourself, efforts to know yourself, and some of you might have never thought about it. As we all know, after completing the age of 18, one officially becomes an adult. So as an adult, it's important to understand one's own self, to set one's target and remain focused. Unfortunately, this is where many of us fail. So we jump from one target to another target, from one job to another job, just like a bird who sits on a new branch every other moment. Knowing oneself helps you throughout your life, in your profession, and enhancing your personality. And of course, when you are working for the betterment of the world around you, it is said that true loss is for him whose days have been spent in utter ignorance of his self. That is the real loss when one does not know himself. But the question is that, how does one know himself, herself? One way is by trying to know your strengths and your weaknesses and the opportunities and the threats which are in front of you. You know, it is called SWOT analysis. You can get plenty of guidance about it on the internet and also in the self-development books literature. When you do your SWOT analysis, you will move from worrying about ev everyday problem, you move to a new perspective, a fresh perspective in life. So you can simply create a matrix of four boxes. In one box you write strengths, in the other box you write weaknesses, then based on that you write the opportunities in front of you and the dangers and threats which you may face because of your weaknesses maybe or other external causes. You know, it is said that man is like a tree. If he is adorned, if he is decorated with fruits, he is always worthy of praise and commendation. Otherwise, a fruitless tree is fit only for fire. Now, what are the fruits of a human being? The fruits of the human tree are exquisite, highly desired, and dearly cherished. Among them are upright character, virtuous deeds, and a goodly utterance. So when you know your strengths, you take advantage of them. Of course, knowing your weaknesses is also as important as knowing the strengths. You can actually search for self-assessment tools on the internet and choose a tool that suits you the best, or you can even take a personality test to know your you know, personality traits better. There are also other ways of knowing yourself, suppose self-analysis, maybe daily self-evaluation. You can maintain a daily journal of your accomplishments and your challenges, your interests, what you are good at, what have other people complimented you about. You should get to know your core personality your interests, your aptitudes, your basic values, and of course, your attitudes. These are all part of knowing one's own self. And then once you know yourself better, you can set vision for your life. You can set a purpose for life. So to be self-aware is to start self-development. So you can set your aims and aspirations the vision you have for your life. A vision, a vision that is worth living, actually. A vision that is worth all the efforts 
the trials, the challenges, and the sacrifices that you should make in life. And of course, you may agree that such a vision should go beyond physical achievements because physical achievements are temporary. They are subjected to the physical reality of birth and death, integration and disintegration. They are not permanent. This statement, it says, let's reflect. It says, the days of our life flee away, just like the breath of wind and all our pomp and glory shall be folded up as were the pomp and glory of those gone before us. Neither the pomp of the mighty nor the wealth of the rich will endure. All will perish. What advantage is there in the earthly things which men possess? Some people set their visions and devote their entire life to their personal gains, their business, wealth, self-promotion, and things of this kind. Some people go one step higher, and their vision is not about physical gains. You know what they want? They are interested in getting recognition, getting a status, name, fame, but neither of these two are worthy of the great station that man has because both are around personal and selfish desires. Actually, the worthy vision for one's life is when his vision is world embracing. Let your vision be world embracing rather than confined to your own self, a vision for the whole world, for the whole humanity, not just one's own self. That is what profits man. Let our vision be advancing such sciences that benefit humanity. Let our vision be for the alleviation of suffering and poverty from, from among the poor, from among the people. Let it be for promoting the cause of education for all, the cause of unity and equality, and the well-being of all mankind. Beloved friends, once you set your lofty vision in life, then you should focus upon it. You should develop the necessary abilities and capabilities to fulfill it and have self-discipline to pursue it. We will discuss this further later. Thank you.